So we have checked out of the Revelstoke campsite and we're heading towards Golden. Now I've changed my mind about three times so far. So, and why I've changed my mind is originally I was going to go to Penticton, which is my, one of my favorite towns in BC, but it's going to be 35 degrees this week. So too hot for me. Then I was going to go to Nacusp and down to Nelson and do a bit of a loop that way. They're going to be 30 odd degrees this week. So looking around, Golden is <laughs> the golden sweet spot of temperatures, high 20s. That'll do us. So we're going to head that way for a couple of days. But we also go through a couple of one or two um, national parks and we're going to go and have a look around and see what we can see there as well. was a quick stop at Skunk Cabbage Boardwalk. It's a rest area day use in Mount Revelstoke National Park. And now we're heading out and seeing what else we can find. This is Hemlock Grove Boardwalk and it's in the Glacier National Park and it's the only hemlock cedar rainforest, inland rainforest in the whole world. And we've just entered Rogers Pass, which is in between Revelstoke and Golden. I'm at the summit of Rogers Pass, which is in the Glacier National Park. There's over 100 glaciers in this park and it's 1,350 kilometers of protected mountains. Another quick short stop, we're now going to Bear Creek Falls.
<laughs> so that was Bear Creek Falls, really worth the walk. We've got to go uphill now, which is a bit of a pain, but it's definitely worth getting to. It's starting to smell smoky, and we can see a little bit in the distance, and here helicopters, so we're going to get out of here. Okay, so we're in Golden now, and we've just ordered pizza from Red Tomato Pie. We've already ordered from this company before, but that was up in Williams Lake. And so this is a completely different branch, so I'm hungry. Let's go and see how the pizza's turned out. Okay, unboxing time. Let's see. I forgot to take peppers off. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like peppers. I do like pineapple on pizza, but not peppers. We are at Golden Golf Club and we've got this tiny little site um, for, I think it's around $40, uh, just electric, no water. And we've got to go and register at the pro shop now. So one of my favorite things about being plugged in at a campsite is being able to use my little blender. This is La Revius, <laughs> no idea how you say that, um, but it was mentioned in an earlier video about how a couple can fit everything they own in a truck camper. I'll link that below if you want to have a look at that one, but um, now I can have some smoothies. It's going to be loud. <laughs> is the perfect size it's tiny and it just does one cup at a time but minimum washing great for small spaces just like a truck camper so here you go a nice berry smoothie one of the advantages of camping at a golf course is that we can go and get some practice in
played this mini golf. I got a hole in one. So let's see if I can do that again. Okay, cameraman, follow the rules. No cheating. <laughs> So this is the one I got a hole in one in last time, so let's try again. Um. <laughs> nope. pedestrian bridge is the longest timber frame bridge in uh, oh hold on timber frame clear span pedestrian bridge in Canada it was assembled on site and it only took 24 days to do guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a like and subscribe and if you haven't already click on the notification bell so you know next time i post and i'll see you in the next video